How are you guys doing? Hey. Hey, I'll see. Hey. You. By the way, th I have the uh, video settings all, all fixed, so uh, feel free. Feel free to turn on cameras. Uh, okay. As far as Ven goes, Ven, I don't, you re reserve the right to not do, do that, but if you want to. Uh, I don't think my Skype can do that, at least not right now without me downloading shit or paying for shit, and it really just, no. Uh, well, understandable, understandable. Absolutely understandable. By the way, Ven, good to have you back on the show. Hey, LC. It's good to have you on. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I always get shocked when people come back because I'm used to being lynch mobbed and having my balls cut off regularly. So. <laughs> well, thank you, dear. I, well, you see, Elsie, you must understand. I am what is called an attention whore. Well, so am I. That's why I do this. Excellent. Just, excellent. Then we understand each other. I'm just yeah. a regular whore. So. Tony, you are not. Uh, despite my trying to V one. No, you're just a big cuddly teddy bear. He is. Oh. Alrighty. Well, at any rate, we were gonna have we we were going to have Susie on here too. By the way, Susie, happy birthday. Yes. Unfortunately, she's not feeling well. Susie's not yeah. feeling well. She's having some uh, fe feminine trouble, I believe. Yeah. She just said she was having some kind of pain and didn't wanted yeah. to um. Yeah. So. Feel better, yes. Susie. Yes, feel better. We we love we love you and all that mushy crap. So <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright. So um okay. Star Wars. Anybody with a brain stem knows what Star Wars is or has a rough inkling as to what as to what it is. Um um Tony? I Tony? said, I said rough Star Wars. I, I <laughs> it's a it's a war that takes place in space in the stars, hence Star Wars. <laughs> yes, but, yes, defi um, yes, define the, the fanboys, Tony. Yes, so, uh, Star Tony, Tony, yes. define the cinematic gloriness that is Star Wars a little bit for all the people who don't know. Well, aside from episodes one and two, Star Wars is probably the most epic sci-fi sci saga in the history of ever. And then George Lucas had to make episodes one and two, and then royally fuck it up. Three was uh, three was okay. Three was pat. Three was passable. Wait, isn't three the worst one? No, episode one is the worst one. Am, oh, okay, that that's in my opinion. Are you sure? I believe. Episode one to be the worst one for um, three reasons: Mini Chlorians, Jar Jar Binks, and Little Anakin Skywalker. The kid is the worst actor I've ever seen. Well, mm -hmm. Tony, Tony dear, though the thing is, that other actor, the the actor who played Anakin in Episode two. Hayden Christensen, yeah. No, and, okay, in episode two, Hayden Christensen played Darth Vader like a whiny emo bitch. That well, is so much worse. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's a pain in the ass. Um, episode... Like the guy who played Anakin in episode two is a pain in the ass. Yeah, well that... Combine. Well, see, that's why I said episode that okay, I could deal with the contrived, forced romance between him and Queen Amidala. You, you know, I can deal with that because you, you, you know they have to have a reason why. I can't because it makes. I realize that I can. I can, but. You know, I can, I can deal with that. I can let that aside. It's just there are certain things about that that little that little kid's performance in episode one that 
gets on my tits more than anything, more than a- anything Hayden Cr- Christensen did in episode two or three. There is just a lack of sincerity in what, um, in what that, in how that kid presents himself. He does not He's kind of like, kind of like, I hate sand. It's <laughs> sand and it. It gets everywhere. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Fuck sand. <laughs> love you. What? Like, that's only because I'm so in love. No, it's because I no no. It's because it's because I'm so in love with you. So love so love has blinded you. What the? F- Nobody fucking talks like that. No, you know what though? The thing is, it's creepy that you first see them together as a couple when he is a mini your being yeah child yeah. and she looks 20 yeah it's like there's a there's a there's a time there's a there's a there's a time for all of that and it's called and, and, and it's called middle school anyway uh, <laughs> between movies and he turns tony into a fucking... say tony are you are you done ranting and giving the arguing about the history or can we get to some actual facts here Oh, okay. okay. We're doing okay. Oh uh, yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. We were here for some for something. We were. Um, yeah. Okay. For, first off, okay. This uh, actually the first thing before we get into it. This actually um, found I found to, to to be really interesting. Um, okay. I will give this. We will start this off with ask Nicola shit. Because she will, because she will, because she will probably know this because she knows fucking everything. Um, okay, okay, Nicola. Yes. Could could you give me a broad number as to how much you think the Star Wars franchise, including the craptastic CGI attack, the the clone the Clone Wars mo- movies, have made like in just worldwide bot in worldwide bo- box office. Are we talking the entire series or just episode the enti- one? The entire the entire series. Uh. No fair looking it up either. <laughs> <laughs> I can. I take fuck turns again. guessing since I know nothing. I am gonna assume it's up in the absolute billions, probably I don't know somewhere between twenty and thirty billion. Not even close. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Can I get Google? Yeah. Okay. Then, 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 uh, then take a guess. My guess is that it has made all of the money and <laughs> none of the sex. <laughs> yes, exactly. It has made all of the money. But okay. Can um, I? Can I? What? I don't. Digress a moment. Okay. Say, ben, what, go I don't, ahead. What? What? I don't get a guess. No, dude, you're the host. Fuck you. You. <laughs> to be silly and go Wait, into the trillions? Let LC guess, then I'm okay. going to digress for just a second. Okay, uh, LC. All right, um, all right. Overall, with all the franchises, all all merchandising, and all no, 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 no. Not, everything. no, not not with merchandising, solely based on the movies and the worldwide bo- box office. Not not on merchandise. This is uh, solely roughly, based on roughly, foods. roughly around fifteen million. If probably, if you're not counting the the first, the first three technically remakes. If you're not talking about the you know the remake fucking, you know not the, the re- ones we don't speak not, of. Not, yeah, the original not probably the re- around fifteen re- to twenty five million. Yeah, not the re-releases, not the special editions. Like when Episode Four came out in nineteen seventy seven. And it's adjusted for inflation. I would guess it, 70s to 80s, probably 25 to 35 million. Oh, you guys are nowhere near close. Ben, but it's go in ahead. It's the trillions, isn't it? No, I will say that, no. But Ben, Disney go ahead. Disney couldn't and, buy it um, if it was in the trillions. <laughs> no, but Ben, go ahead and uh, ela- elaborate on your... Uh, my elaboration is uh, completely unrelated, so why don't you tell us the answer? Okay. The answer may surprise you, actually. The total for the box office worldwide comes to 
four billion four hundred eighty five million six hundred seventy two thousand six hundred and eighty three dollars. I wouldn't mind having that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, um, and half, of, um, more than. Are you done, Elsie? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And more than <laughs> more than oh, half. Of, insane. More than half of that came from domestic bo box office by by itself. Wowie. Yeah. So. And um, and that's also and the um the biggest budgeted one. Well, actually, the uh the pre the prequels all had the same estimated production budget of a hundred and fifteen million each. Hey Tony. Uh, hey yes. Does that include the Christmas special? No one talks about. Good the question. Oh shit. It's like Lucas to this day refuses to even acknowledge the Christmas special. And that's saying a lot. Yeah. Given the kinds of shit yeah. he puts out. Yes, especially seeing the fact this is the guy who brought us Howard the Duck. Yeah. So, and he yeah. doesn't speak of that one. See, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that with Disney getting Star Wars, um, I want a, a, I want like a 20th re-release of Star Wars with the holiday special. And I would buy that. It'll never happen. Oh, yeah, but, you know, still. But speaking of selling Star Wars to Disney, uh -huh. do you know, can you remember off the top of your head how much he sold it for? Four something, four, four billion and something dollars, 4.1 billion, I think it was. Every single cent of it went to charity. Bra bravo, Mr. Lucas. He basically said in an interview, what do I need that type of money for? Like, I have more money than God. Why do I need more? <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, he gave every single one of that to assorted charities that he uh, supports. It's like, listen, I can buy everybody in this room right now. Why do I need more money? <laughs> there is. <laughs> yeah, I could. I, he he could literally buy his own country, name it, name it, Lucasstan, and dedicate it totally, <laughs> and dedicate it totally, totally to Star Wars shit. And that would just be the most, probably the most craziest thing ever. Take Is that. that. Next, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Afghanistan. And, yeah, and you know oh. there were, and she would, and uh, and uh, Diamanda would, and Diamanda would invade it and do horrible things to 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 George, to George Lucas. So. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 Tony. Yes. Can I digress for just a moment here? Of course. That's My digression is. Nicola, I just realized who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like we totally hung out in Washington or anything, then. I know, but I didn't recognize your, your thing, whatever, you. you. She's on Please. camera, how could, what the hell? <laughs> no, I don't, I'm not seeing the camera, and I'm not seeing the live stream, because I, I turned it off because of the ads. For making my brain hurt, and I don't know well, how to turn that off, and I don't have headphones. Uh, I've said it a I several times. I've said it a hundred times. <laughs> you stream, don't pay me shit. Use ad blocker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I see. Um, I, mm, uh, I do, but it doesn't work on UStream. Ah. Uh, I turned it off. I turned I it off on Blip, but it's not working on UStream, so I don't know why. And I'm whatever. Anyway. Um, if y'all have time at the end of this broadcast, um, mm -hmm. Nicola and I should tell you about why we are the worst people on the planet Earth. I look forward we will, to this. We will work that in. <laughs> we'll, we'll, have that at, we'll actually use that as a separate, uh, separate uh, segment. In my own defense, but... I tried to resist making that joke. You forced me to do it. <laughs> save it, save it for... A, I, I have a video to make here and a segment to do. So, Tony, keep going. We'll save all this for afterwards. All right. <laughs> yes. All right, starting off with, really, this encompasses every movie in the series. The Imperial officers' uniforms were patterned after the uniforms of Nazi officers 
to add to their vi- villainous image. That I can believe. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who remembers the line from uh, episode four where Luke says, "I can't see a thing in this helmet" when he's when he's in the star when he's in the uh, storm stormtrooper episode. Oh, I think I saw a clip of that once. Yeah, that was not that was not, that was not that was not scripted. Mark Hamill said said this to Harrison Ford when he thought the camera had stopped rolling, <laughs> but, but the filmmaker decided to to leave the line in. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like um, something I would do. <laughs> yeah. Well, the best shit inevitably happens when the actors don't know the camera is rolling or don't give a shit. Okay, now, the the next two have to deal with, um, the original, and I'm, I'm sorry, Ewan, but the better Obi, Obi-Wan, Alec Guinness. Well, I mean, he is. Yeah. Uh, despite, despite the fact that he hated playing that role. <laughs> I will get into, I will get into that later. Uh, Mark Hamill annoyed Alec Guinness so much on set because of his youth and excitement that that Alec paid him a dollar to go away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know no, what I'm question. suddenly imagining? Uh huh. Did he accept I, it? I'm suddenly imagining Mark Hamill as Luke as um, what is the name of that little girl on Tiny Toons? Elmira. Elmira, Elmira. yeah. I'm imagining Luke as Elmira. Going around trying to, you know, hug all the older actors. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you in insert film here. Yeah. Okay, now another like, one p- about piss off, Guinness. piss off, kid. I'm doing a fucking job here. <laughs> it's like, it's like I turned down Henry the Eighth for this. This is bullshit. <laughs> I, I, kid, I, cre- I, kid, I created two fucking actors like you in the toilet some morning. Fuck yeah. off. But, anyway, okay, Alec Guinness also re- recalled the experience of making the, the movie as a bad one and consistently claimed that it was his idea to have, to have his character killed in the first film. So, so he, quote, wouldn't have to carry on saying these rubbish lines. <laughs> we, reportedly, he hated working on Star Wars so much, Alec Guinness claimed that the death was his idea as a means to limit his involvement in the film. Guinness also claimed to claims to throw away all Star Wars related fan mail without without even opening it. Contrary to this, George Lucas has has said he made the decision to kill off Kenobi that Guinness was quote less than happy his character was dying earlier than than, than expected, and that Guinness appeared to enjoy his time on set. While 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 Guinness made no secret that, that he disliked the dialogue in George, in George Lucas's script, he claimed that he accepted the role for two reasons. One, he was an admirer of Lucas's previous film, American Gra- Graffiti, which also had um, Harrison Ford in it, by the way. And the narrative compelled him to read to read to read the script through to the end, in spite of not liking the dialogue or being a fan of science fiction. Oh, wait, and and that is uh, that's Lucas claiming that those were his reasons, yeah. Yes. So Lucas is aware that uh, Mr. Guinness is an actor, right? This is yeah. Lucas saying that Mr. Guinness took the role because I am awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Also, speaking of the Star Wars holiday special, oh God, I thought some, we didn't speak of that. No, no, George doesn't speak of that. We do, oh. all, we we do, we, we do all damn day. Uh, <laughs> some unused footage shot for the film was used for the Star Wars holiday special. So yeah. do that. Also, uh, technically. The Star Wars Holiday Special was our first introduction to Boba Fett. Oh. Oh, actually, you're right. No, no, okay, because the, the Star you're, Wars you're... Holiday Special came right after Episode Four, and um, uh, Boba Fett did not appear until Episode Five. Yeah, you're absolutely Holy right. Shit. I never thought of that before. 
I've never thought of that and, before. But he actually did make his appearance, first appearance in that. Yeah, and yeah, that was his first appearance in there. So it's like, uh, yeah, so school. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what's another one? Yeah. Okay. Don't need. Don't, don't need that no more. Okay. Um. Uh, Darth Vader was actually played by three at by three actors. No, four a- actors. Mm-hmm. Ra- rather, the voice, as you all know, was played by the awesome, awesome. Uh, awesomely badass. If you James only knew Vader. the power of the dark side, Obi Wan never told you. Anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, please do. That's very annoying. <laughs> Remember who you are. Mufasa? Mufasa? <laughs> but, okay, okay, as you all know, James... So then, Tony, are you saying the guy in the costume was Gordon Davis? He told me you. Love of Buddha, stop that. <laughs> it's whole <laughs> background sound effects. Every other radio show has it. Well, yeah, but it's taking over the actual audio. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's, lo- it's louder than all fuck. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have fucking fancy equipment. I I do everything on chewing gum and duct tape. <laughs> then don't do it. Criticism, criticism, criticism. Bork, 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 bork. Warwick but, Davies played Darth Vader. But I'm yes, James, now it is canon. But yeah, uh, but yeah, J- James Earl Jones did the voice of Darth of Darth Vader. And um, they, in the original release, they did not credit him as the voice. Hmm. But in the re, but in the re-release, oh, you bet your ass they did. <laughs> oh hell yeah! What you're saying, Tony, is that Darth Vader was played by a lion and a hobbit. Exactly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, the body of um. The physical actor that played Darth Vader was played by a man named David Prowse, who was originally um, going to be the original voice of Darth Vader. But the thing, but the uh, thing was, he had a very thick, I think it was either Scottish or Irish accent. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Okay. He was was Yorkshire. Yeah. He's from Yorkshire, he was. And I bought some of that farmer. Oh, yeah, and obviously it's just like, you have Darth Vader, a guy that menacing, it's just like, oh boy, tell me what, tell me what your plans are. You know, it's just not going to be that, it's, it's just not going to be that menacing. <laughs> oh, so God, no. I need to watch the movies with that dub to over Darth Vader. We need, we need that dub. We need that dub. <laughs> Actually, if you look, um, if you, you you can find YouTube and see the behind the behind the scenes stuff, you can you can hear David David Prowse's voice because he does say the dialogue, and it's it's not menacing at all. It makes you want to laugh. Oi, la- oi, laddie, oi, laddie, look, I am your father. He was bloody big, though. He's like, oi, laddie, what are your fucking plans at? <laughs> it's like, you know, it's... You it's, don't know the power of the dark side. <laughs> you don't know the power of the dark side. <laughs> right, anyway. What accents are you trying? <laughs> yeah, he was... Oh very, Americans doing very bad British and fucking Irish and Scottish. <laughs> I just try to mimic uh, the janitor from The Simpsons, and it usually works. Um... <laughs> And, that reminds me. Um, uh-huh. that reminds me of of a a slight li- another digression because that's what I'm here for is to be an idiot. Yes. Um, <laughs> well, that reminds me of a weird story from the set of Who Framed Roger Rabbit of all things, and that that thing was uh, well, Roger Rabbit obviously animated character. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy who did the voice of him, Charles Fleischer, who is insane as all fuck. Seriously, look it up. He's Bat shit crazy. Um, he would come to, on set to read his lines, you know, from off camera, dressed as Roger, like <laughs> a funny fur suit. There are photographs of this. I'm not making it up. I believe you. Are you sure he just wasn't late after coming from the ifing party? I, you know, 
he's so crazy. I I could go either way on that one. <laughs> and I've spoken to him personally. He's weird. He's a weird guy. He's a weird guy. Wow. But, uh, let's see. Where was I? Okay, there was also, let's see, who else was that? I just had the, okay. Um, for the, um, for, for the fight scene in episode six with, with Luke and, ba and Vader, um, Sebastian, S Sebastian Shaw, who I believe was the sword master on the movie, uh, I might be wrong. Yeah, he was a, he was a, yeah, I believe, I believe that was it. He did the fight scene in episode six and he wore plat and he wore plat platform shoes to make up for the height difference. And, Interesting. Yeah. And also in episode six, the face, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Okay. I think I, okay. Wait a minute. I think I got my, uh, Oh, okay. Bob and Bob and Bob Anderson was the um, Bob Anderson. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Bob Bob and Bob and Bob and Anderson was the stunt was the stuntman during the fight sequence, and Sebastian Shaw uh, did was the uh, was was the unma was the unmasking. So, yeah. And you know what, honestly, Tony, I've always been disappointed. That that unmasking was just so anticlimactic for me. That was not the face of Vader I expected. Well, it could have been worse. They it could have it could have been like uh, the Family Guy Star Wars. <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> oh well, I'll just I'll spoil it for you. Uh, they go to um, Luke, who's played by Chris Griffin, takes Darth Vader, played by Stewie. To unma unmask him, and accidentally snap snaps his neck. <laughs> it's like, oh no! Look what look what happened all by itself spontaneously. Well, I better go burn his body. Bye. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> no, but no, but in all fairness, in all fairness, I mean, we we had Darth Vader. He was this evil, the icon of evil. With this epic voice, James Earl Jones' voice, I did not expect. Honestly, I was more shocked that it was a white man. <laughs> I literally can say I was expecting James Earl Jones to be under there, kind of like Luke. I'm your father, and yes, you're half mulatto. <laughs> oh God! Well, it wasn't so much white; it was more pasty gray. Yeah, I was gonna well, say. If you were burnt, well, if you were burnt by 90 percent of your body was burnt, you'd be pasty too. <laughs> Yeah. Also, speaking of the infamous Luke, I am your father line, you do realize that that was not the original line, yes? Yeah, I heard that, but I can't remember what the original line was. The original well, I, I line. I do. Tony, Tony, I do know the original line. It was okay. Luke, I am your father's mother's sister's brother's aunt, uncle's second cousin, fifth cousin of the uh, second of the second anniversary no, no, of LC, something. No, LC, LC, LC. Fellow, that's space balls. That, yeah, that's space balls. Oh, fuck. And, I always get those two mixed up. And, and the correct line from space balls, I am your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. Anyway. Oh, uh, what does that make us? <laughs> <laughs> What's that make us? Absolutely nothing, which is what you are about to become. Anyway. Um, but now, the original line that nobody knew not even the act, not even the uh, actor playing the body a actor that that was saying the lines knew that they were going to change it. So he read the original. The original line was, "It's like, like Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him." The original line was, "No, Obi Wan killed your father." Hmm. Hmm. Which. Technically, um... Would make more sense, actually, if you really think about true, it. Because he did destroy, basically, the concept of Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. But I would... I kind of would have preferred that a little more, but... 
No, it it really does. It makes more sense. I mean, Obi Wan Obi Wan killed Atticus Skywalker technically, at least mentally and physically. And- and, he, and, and then Susie, Attican, and, Attican was Attican died, and it, he was reborn at Star Vader. So technically, that is actually correct. Yeah, and Susie, thank you for calling me a massive geek. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but um, but on the other on, on the other side, though, if if that if that if that if that line had not been changed. We would have never had one of the classic plot plot twists in cinematic history, I think, because that kind of I'm not saying that it, it was the first time that that happened, because obviously it wasn't, but it was a, that was like a big, big thing in that movie. So, yeah. All right. Moving. I'm suddenly reminded of the Simpsons episode where they're walking down the line of people going on. I can't believe the Darth Vader is Luke's father. Oh, oh why? Ruining it. No. Um. Okay. Here. Here's another one. And and Tony, uh, don't forget. Don't forget. It also would never give us the greatest. The one of the greatest lines ever. No. Please don't, please, please, please don't, please don't do that. Please stop. <laughs> I'm begging you. Anyway. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry I disappeared. My computer did something naughty. It's okay. Was it oh, you're on center radio. Naughty is usually the fucking dorm here. <laughs> It's on center radio. I thought it was your fault, but you know, I, I wanted to be sure. Yeah. Um, let's say, oh, Lucas, I, I believe this was on episode five or six. Lucas fired a producer that was also a very good friend of his for. Okay, this is why nobody said to Lucas for years. This is ass on pants backwards retarded because this is why in episode five or six, Lucas fired a producer who also happened to be a very good friend for disagreeing with, with, with him when he said, and I quote, people will watch this movie for the special effects, not for the story. Uh, Knowing George Lucas, I can believe that. No yeah. George Lucas, I can really, really believe that. So yeah, this kind of sets up the whole thing why nobody bothers to point out his bull his, his bullshit. I Did mean, you ever see the video of them just finishing watching the first screening of episode? I think it was episode three. On a uh, you mean on and red, the producers red, all sitting in a mini cinema? You mean from uh, Red Letter Media? I think so, yeah. Yes, and even Lucas is, is just like, this is going on way too long. I that should video cut this here. Yeah. As soon as that ended, everybody was silent to the point where some of them were even biting their knuckles. Just like, oh, God. Yeah, okay. I'm not telling them. Well, in I'm all fairness, in all, in all fairness, and I will defend the, the original screening of that, a movie was never made like that ever before. That changed cinema. The style, the everything changed yeah, from Star Wars. But that's all, that was also... Hold on, bad... episode three. Episode three, oh, yeah. oh, you mean episode three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone kind of doing a collar thing, like, <laughs> yeah, can we remove our name for this one? <laughs> now, I love... <laughs> you know, going... Now, now I, I, I loved the final uh, fight scene at the end. It took way too fucking long, though. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I thought it was terrible. It was far too choreographed. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. The, the, the fight between um, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul, that was way too fucking choreographed. Okay. Isn't Let's not speak that of that fucking train wreck. Uh, then you were saying something? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, 
isn't it a rule that all ending fight scenes have to go on way the fuck too long until your eyes glaze over and you start counting the ceiling tiles in the theater? I think so. Okay, Ray, okay, Ray Parker. Uh, six hundred seventy-two, played, by the way. Right, Ray, Ray, Ray Parker, the guy that played Darth Maul. Awesome, uh, fantastic athlete, really good fighter um, in, in movies, but that was just completely unnecessary. Okay, now on to a funny little an anecdote involving Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, for those that don't know. Okay. Is this about a drug Do problem? No. Is this about an alcohol problem? No. Okay. This is just a little funny ha 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 type of thing. Is it uh, due to the fact that Meryl Streep almost got her rule? No. <laughs> okay, due to limit due to the limited budget, the American cast members, including including George Lucas himself. Okay, there are no there, there are no drugs or alcohol in this, Patrick. So shut up. <laughs> okay. Not even Cinnabon. No, not even Cinnabon. And Aww. thank you, Tony, for breaking the fourth wall for the people watching this in replay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, okay. due to the limited budget, the American cast members and crew, including George Lucas himself, all decided to, to fly coach class to England rather than first class. When Carrie Fisher's mother, Debbie Reynolds, heard about this, she called George Lucas complaining about how insulting it was for her daughter to be flying coach. Carrie Fisher was in the room with George Lucas when, when he took the call <laughs> and after a few minutes she asked if she could take the phone and talk and talk to her mother when george lucas handed her the phone she she simply said quote mother i want to fly coach will you fuck off and hung up <laughs> oh my god that's gotta be just like like being in the room with like your boss when your mom calls to see, to see if you got the job. Oh Jesus! <laughs> that that that's that that is literally like being on a fucking job interview, having your mother call your fucking cell phone and, and her going, "How's it? it did, how's the job interview going? Uh, it's going fine. I'm actually still in the middle of it." Well, did you tell me about the fucking uh, et cetera, et cetera, and four hundred one k blah blah? Uh, yes, mom. I'm uh -huh. still in my job interview. Well, I want to talk to your boss. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. But how bad would it have been if she just says, thanks for costing me the job, mom, and hung up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, no, what would, have been, what would have been better is if Carrie Fisher just grabbed the phone and said, by the way, thanks, I'm no longer flying coach. Now I have to go with the fucking cargo <laughs> fucking... I have to fly cargo. Now I have a box in the cargo hold. Thanks, yeah. mom. <laughs> okay. By the now way, for, said drugs. Uh, huh? Okay. Now for, uh... Luke Skywalker himself. Um, did you know that uh, Luke Sky that the name Skywalker was not the original last name for for that character? Was it Kit Cloud Kicker? Because you know, I think Disney owns that one. No, it was not. It was not. It was not. It was not Kit Cloud Kicker. Does anyone even get that? Yeah, from tail. I from tail know the yeah, name. From tail yeah, yeah, from tail. Yeah, from tailspin. Oh, good. Yeah, but yeah, the original name, the original name for for Luke was was Luke Star Killer. Oh, I think I knew that, and that's oh, fucked I, up, I, man. I actually <laughs> did hear that. I heard I that. Actually, yeah. I actually like Star Star Killer. I, I, I actually did. I did hear this one, and I think they had to ch they change the studio decided to have it changed because it sounded too graphic. I believe. Yeah, that's the same. It sounds thing. so fucking ominous, and yet at the same time, it sounds like something, um, like something a goth hippie would name their child. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see. Also, okay. It took as many as ten puppeteers using both hands to operate Jabba the Hutt. Not surprised. I can't believe that. I believe that. And the Jabba the Hutt character, the puppet itself, took three months to build, cost half a million dollars, Jesus, and weighed 
a ton. Okay. I... Sorry, are we talking a literal ton or a metaphorical ton saying it's just it, fucking heavy? It literally weighed 2,000 pounds. Oh, my God. All right, then. <laughs> I mean, okay, I when you say three months, I would be like, only three months? But half a million dollars. Holy shit. You know, and it was made of latex. It weighed a ton? Holy shit. Do you realize <laughs> that if someone had dropped that puppet... Carrie Fisher could have been toast. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it was so heavy, that thing, we, it was not moving. And plus, there was, like, what, how many puppeteers? Four or five guys just sitting inside this fucking thing, and then there was another one poking the hands with sticks to get them to move. Well, yeah, that... I know, but, I mean, if they had gotten a little randy that day and just decided to, like, pull an ill-conceived prank on the bikini-clad hot chick... She really, she could have been Star Wars Jelly. Star Wars Jelly. Why has that not come out yet? <laughs> um, uh, I'm, I'm sure in some been, sense it has. has. Jelly. Smucker, so. Smuckers now brings you Star Wars Jelly. <laughs> oh God. But but if okay. I could bring up my old, I if I could bring, a, if I could bring up my old little uh, Star Aunt Wars fact. Fancy's had a Star Wars themed. Uh, <laughs> Jelly over here. They had, they had, they had Star Wars themed everything else. Why not? Why not? Why, why not start? Star also, Wars clarification stuff? for the American audience: Jelly here is what you call Jello. Oh, okay. That's oh. even funnier because I think that has existed in America. <laughs> yeah, sure it's not jam. Jello. Yeah. What you call jelly, we call jam. Yeah, I knew that, um, but I keep forgetting that for so, for some reason that where you live. Jelly means jello because that's just funny. Because <laughs> I would not eat jello on toast. That that sounds kind of rank. <laughs> that is kind of rank. But uh, but, it, it, but it makes jello is rather tasty. But LZ, but it, you, but it uh, makes jello wrestling so much more interesting in the UK. <laughs> anyway, um, but I do. Um, all right, I the, the pants and trousers confusion as well. Yeah. <laughs> but, Here, uh, pants yes. are your underwear. Uh. But uh, Tony, I, I do have my own little bit. I do have my own little bit of uh, weird Star Wars trivia. Alrighty. And it comes to, and it is appropriately connected to the Jabba the Hutt scenes. As we all know, Carrie Fisher actually did wear a very ero uh, uh, erotic, a very erotic bikini in that scene. Uh -huh. The, the, the actual material it was made from was not actually cotton or any kind of natural fabric. It was actually plastic. It looked Which like means that thing. even though it could not show on camera, let's just say the people who were doing the lighting and the camera work got a very good show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, that it, 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 it very... covered it up. It covered up the good. It covered up the good parts on camera. But let's just say everybody else in the room had a holy crap fucking good view of Carrie Fisher. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Poor, poor oh, Carrie. Wah, wah. Okay. My sister, I think, has actually fabricated things out of that same material before. My sister is a costume designer. Yes, and she is fucking awesome, too, by the way. <laughs> oh, you've seen her work. Of course you have. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is something I did not know until t until today, and I, I just never really realized it. Every Star Wars movie in the United States has been re re released in May, always one week after George Lucas's a after George Lucas's May fourteenth birthday. Oh my God! His birthday is May fourteenth. Yes. That's so bon yeah, Kyle's birthday is May 13th. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been hilarious he if his birthday was just there, 10 man. days earlier? Dodged a bullet. May the 4th? I don't get it. May the 4th be with you. Oh, God. Oh, that... Phew. Okay. That uh, went, right, went right over my head. Okay. <laughs> okay, the following the following people were considered as alternate candidates for the role of Han Solo, which, by the way, Harrison Ford was never in the running for. He was simply hired 
to do to do lines with all of the people aud- auditioning, and Lu- Lucas thought he'd be the perfect choice. I after- uh, actually, I could add on. I, actually, Tony, I could add on to that story. Uh, basically, Harrison Ford was not actually hired as an actor. Uh, he worked on American Graffiti. He he worked on American Graffiti with George Lucas, and basically then got a job through somebody to actually install new doors on the studio. Because George, uh, Harrison Ford was working as a carpenter at the time. He was basically a carpenter and acted on the side. He was basically putting up the doors on the studio, and. George Lucas walked, came through and needed somebody to read the lines and looked at, at Harrison Ford and said, hey, can you uh, do some reads? Help help us out and do some reads? And because he did such a good job during the reading, George Lucas said, hey, you want to just get, you want the part? Yeah. I've That's totally heard that story before. Yeah. But, okay, the following people were considered alternate candidates for the role of Han, of Han Solo. First one is somebody I've never I've never heard of Perry Perry King. You never heard of Perry King? No. No, I don't know who he is either. I've heard of him, but uh, for the life of me, I couldn't really tell you shit. Yeah, all about I, I him. know that I know the name. I just I can't <laughs> think of the role he's been in. Um, yeah. let's see. Uh, Kurt Russell. Oh my God. Nick 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 Nolte. What? Al Pacino. Oh my God! Knew, that that one. The funniest and movie of that all one time. I've heard. And, and possibly what I just kind of would love to have seen, Christopher fucking Walken. Oh no, my that God! Been that one I've heard too. It's like Christopher Walken as as Han as Han Solo. It's just like it's like I love you. Hey, I know, or what, or, or however. He's yes, I, I know. <laughs> oh my God, I can't decide which is funnier, Christopher Walken or Al Pacino. Christopher Walken, hands down. Well, yes, but I know Christopher Walken is an auto win, but they're both comedy gold in this case. True. <laughs> Chewy, get. On the the blasters, <laughs> Chewie, Chewie, Please get on us. the Chewie, oh, get on the blasters. You know what? Uh, Actually, just LC, um, just recite some of those lines in your normal voice, and that's and we'll get an idea what Al Pacino would have been like in the role. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 so, all right, somebody quote me. Somebody quote me a uh, a uh, hot solo, a uh, hot a uh, hot solo. Um, line. Uh, Hokey religions and ancient weapons are no good for are no match for a good blaster at, at your at your side. Hokey religions and old fashioned weapons are no are no are are no fuck. No match Sorry. for a good blaster at your side. Are no match for a blaster at our side. You no, no, but that would have been best. That would have been the best thing ever. As soon as he shot Guido, he just went, hoo <laughs> Elsie, Elsie, do you realize you just said he shot the Guido? The Guido? <laughs> well, yeah, of course it's Al Pacino would have been great for that shooting Guidos all over the damn place. i shoot a Guido too, damn. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um... Sissy, Sissy Sp- Spacek from the iconic movie Carrie, not the four remakes that have been made and the fucking musical. Um, she auditioned for for the role of Princess Leia. You know who else? You know, you know who else um, auditioned for the role of Han of Han of Han Solo? That guy. No, I will give you a hint. He isn't. He is. He is in the. He is in the Star Wars movies. Tom Hanks. Billy D. Tom Hanks was not in Star Wars. <laughs> Billy D. Williams, Lando Calrissian. Warwick David? Huh? No. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah. Yes. Yes, Ben. Warwick David auditioned for Han Solo. <laughs> Shut up, man! <laughs> no, I, I, I can see. Billy I can D. see. Bill, I can see Billy D. Williams auditioning for that role. 
Billy D. Williams would have been would have been a kick ass uh, hog. You know, he was the first African American on a sci fi film with a, a main rule. So who is who is that guy? Lando, Lando, Cal- the black dude. Lando, Lando Calrissian. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I get, I get the only the only black guy in Star Wars apparently. <laughs> I I, I, I can literally that. see I can literally see Billy D doing that fucking do the role of Han Solo, I really can. That would be awesome. I can just see it. He would he would just shoot Guido and just go enjoy a nice cold court for cold forty five. It's Guido, it's, it's, it, not Guido. It's it's the beverage of it's a beverage of assassins. Wait, it's <laughs> what? And wait, have I been saying it wrong? No, it's it's it's. It's not Guido, it's Greedo. Like, Gre- oh, oh shit. I okay, I seriously thought his name was Guido. No, I thought it was too. No, it's Greed and then add an O. Oh, okay. I, okay. No, I seriously thought. <laughs> Oops. It's all right. You know. I thought you were talking about like, like Star Wars Snooky here. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we don't bring up we don't, background. Jen uh, or Ven, Ven, we do not bring up Joyzy on this show. <laughs> I, I know, but I mean, but my sister is from there, so I gotta. Okay, well we can we we can we can forgive it this time then. I know. Okay. Ah, this one is interesting. The Millennium Falcon was inspired by the shape of a hamburger with a, with an olive on the side. What the fuck? I could see that. I could see that actually. No, just what the fuck? <laughs> I'm looking for inspiration from for the you know my epic fucking spaceship of awesome and my epic fucking space opera of awesome. Oh look, McDonald's. <laughs> the fuck. Well, that's obviously a writer or or designer having a very bad day and pulling something out of his arse at the last minute because his child drew over his original drawings. I would say, yeah. And it's not like I've never done that. So, yeah, Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Okay. um, (laughs) Okay. Now, this is for now. This is for the entire panel: Elsie, Nicola, and Ven. And I would please ask you to answer one at at a time, starting with Elsie. LC, what do you believe gave the gave Darth Vader his his labored breathing effect? What 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 achieved the sound of his labored breathing? Like, actual actual do? special effect, or you mean a continuity of the actual film? No, I'm talking about on the, this is a practical effect that that they used to produce the labored breathing. Some what reason, I, some reason, I think it's a microphone standing in front of a funnel. Wrong. Okay, then. I swear to God, I used to actually know this, but I don't freaking remember, and that's going to drive me batshit. Don't worry, I'll tell you. I'll tell I'm, you. I'm, I'm trying to think now. It's the, the thing that the thing that everyone can do with their mouth. So I don't know why they need a practical effect when you could just do it's called your lips. But all right. Um. No, they had to use an actual uh, certain de- device to. No, I know. And uh, uh, I used to know the answer to this <laughs> and I don't. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to. I'm going to go with a jar of buttons. All right, go. No, okay. Um, unfortunately, that's not correct. I, Nicol- Nicola. I know this, but I can't think it off the top of my head. Well, <sighs> try and describe it, because I, I just want to see if somebody else knows this. Oh, I can describe it. It's like... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Is that the Darth breathing sound? Did that even work over my mic? Yeah. Okay. Was it some? Was it an animal snoring? No. Or am I Pat- thinking of something else? Patrick actually got it right. It was a scuba, scuba regulator. Gear. It was yes. a. It was, That's what it was. It was a scuba regulator. 
You know what kills me is that it does freaking sound like that. And you yeah. you think of that and you're like, no, that's too obvious. It can't be. Because <laughs> sound uh, effects are fucking, you know, chuck a melon at a chicken and, you know, but. <laughs> um, okay. Why, why, why do you chuck a melon at a chicken? <laughs> well, because. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you feed the chicken, Van. We've no. told you this. I love you, Van. <laughs> okay, um, okay, quick thing. If you look at Mark Hamill in episode four and episode six, you might notice he looks a little different. I know the answer to this. It's not because, it, it's not just because he has aged. There was no, a reason. No, I know this. Van, what, what, what do you believe it is? This is like the only thing I know about Star Wars ever. He was in a motorcycle accident and it fucked up his face. Yes, correct. Seriously. Yes, he was. He was, actually it was a it was a car accident, but I same. thought it was a motorcycle. No, it, no, it's a car. It was a car accident. Well, whatever. He ran yeah. into a thing on the road and it was yeah. shitty. Yeah. <laughs> it truly was the, the uh, squishable thing on the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he he was actually like th this one. He was he had damaged his face in a car in a car accident following primary shooting, making reshoots impo impossible. So there was so, so there was no way for them to do retakes. And let me tell you something: if there's anything that's going to piss off a director more than that, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Okay, also... Now, actually, with that fact, now I understand why uh, George Lucas always said, filmmaking is great. If we, it, uh, let, filmmaking, is, filmmaking is great, as long as you don't have the actors. <laughs> well, that's, that's just universal truth, man. I think yeah. that's why he loves his CG so much. Oh, yeah. It, 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 no, actually, it is. Uh, there is. There's actually a funny story... Uh, during the filming of American Graffiti, George Lucas and Ron Howard were talking, and Ron Howard was saying how he wanted to go to, he was going to film school at, at the next semester, at the beginning of the semester. And George went, oh, that's great, that's absolutely great. Um, I, but a little bit of advice, uh, take some animation classes, because act, dealing with actors is complete, it's complete hell. Yes, ba yes it is. Basically, well, basically saying that, like, it's great to make film, but if we could take, if you take out the actors out of filmmaking, everything would be perfect. On the one hand, that's true. On the other hand, what you have to remember is that you're trading actors for artists, and oh God, help you. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> that, that I can agree with that one. But at okay. least with at least with the theory about artists versus actors, artists are a little easier to control. <laughs> are they? And <laughs> I didn't know. No, no. I work at. I used to work in theater. Artists. Okay, both artists and actors can both be whiny little bitches. You just have to. You you, you just have to know how to work with said whiny little bitches. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. See, I'm both, and. You know, that's gone poorly for me, and I'm pretty sure it's gone poorly for everyone I've ever associated with professionally. So, there you go. Okay, here's one. Uh, who was the character of Han Solo based on? In, I, oh. Indiana Jones. Yeah. No. No, no. no because no, Indiana no, no, Jones no, no. came out after. Shut up. It's, uh, it, it, it was it was based on a old 1930s serial character. I just fuck who the hell is his name? Nope, 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 nope. E.T. Nope. E.T. Nope. Seriously, yeah. man. <laughs> it could never... be right. You never know. Oh, that kid in the Goonies, Sean Astin. No. That was... other kid in the Goonies who wasn't Sean Astin. The character the of Clint Hans Eastwood. Solo. The character of Han Solo was based on Lucas's friend, Francis Ford Coppola, who directed the classic film, The Godfather. Oh, for fuck's oh. sake. Okay. Well, you see, then, that's, that's how you know Al Pacino should have been in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, 
that actually makes sense. <laughs> Yeah. But but the worst part is if it was actually Francis Ford Coppola playing Han Solo, that means eventually would have had Nicolas Cage show up somewhere. <laughs> okay. And that would have been beautiful. Okay. Yes. What was Nicolas okay. Cage Nicolas Cage as fucking R two D two would have been great. No, you know <laughs> Both what are robotic. I see? You know what I wanna see? Okay, I wanna see Christopher Walken as Jar Jar. And, and I want to see Nicolas Cage as uh, as Han Solo. Oh, God. Really? Nicolas Cage? That, that would have been fucking hilarious. Right? <laughs> and then, um, oh, and then I want to see Jerry Seinfeld as Luke. <laughs> what is with all these wars? And then what? I want to see Ellen DeGeneres as, as Leia. Oh, God. And then, oh, I want to see Dude, Zach Galifianakis. Ben, Ben, that, oh, ben oh, Ellen oh, DeGeneres oh, as oh, Princess oh, Leia would have been the best dance sequence ever in a film. I'm being amazing here, right? Right? Ben, yes. Just Mine is blown. Of Ellen DeGeneres standing on the back of Jabba the Hutt. Just keep strangling. Just keep strangling. Just keep strangling. <laughs> yes. I, I can just see that little. I can see Ellen do playing Princess Leia. And just, Choking out job in the hut, doing that little two-step fucking dance thing she does. Oh, and then okay, Rosie O'Donnell in a fursuit can play all of the little midget hamster things. Oh, my God. I, I I would actually no, actually, Ben, I would put her. I would put her as Chewbacca. Well, I I was putting Zach Galifianakis as Chewbacca, but sure, Zach Galifianakis and switching off with Rosie O'Donnell, like scene for scene. That could work. See, and the best part about Zach Galifianakis as either the Ewoks or Chewbacca, he doesn't need a costume. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the man, the man, the, the, the man is na is naturally a bear. <laughs> hey, Neither does I, Rosie O'Donnell. Can, 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 oh. can I say something really, really inappropriate? Always. You know, it's, this is at a radio if you don't... <laughs> Ben, it, this is in a radio. But it's true. And I'm going to tell you, um, I happen to know that Zach Galifianakis' appearance runs in the family because I happen to have slept with his uncle. You're welcome, world. Okay! Go, Ben! Hey. <laughs> okay! Ben, a Cine Radio exclusive! Me, you know. <laughs> okay. All righty. All right. What was... The original title. Oh, for by the Star way, and by the way, I could say something even more inappropriate about about what's below the belt with Zacky. If that goes in the family too, he's hung like a horse. Moving right along. <laughs> no, no, no! I need to get back to this one. I need to get back to this one because this is the real juicy story. It's 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 like a it's like a it's like a, like a mongoose. I I need to know that because I picture it like a mongoose. Um, <laughs> it's you know it, uh, Ooh, I'm trying to envision these things in. Um, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm suspending my lesbianism to try to do this now. Okay, it's um, it's oh. a challenge because I'm not that experienced in that department, but you know I've been there. I had to visit in order to recognize that I, you know, didn't feel like I wanted to live in that neighborhood. Oh God. <laughs> um, um, it's um. Okay, have you ever seen those, those, um, what are, um, uh... Vibrators? What? Is that the word you're looking for? What, what word? Vibrators, dildos, Well, I'm penises. sure that exists. I was looking for the word, um, those snakes that people keep as pets and they wear them as jewelry. Python? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking okay. trouser weasel, Python, but sure. <laughs> Python, anaconda. Oh, that has a new meaning to treasure snake. So you say, you say, so, 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 so,
<laughs> then <laughs> last question, last question before we move back on the Star Wars. You tell me it was so big it could wrap around your throat. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm not saying I tried, but yes. Anyway, okay, great. Okay, he is a golden god. I'm like horse. Let's move on. <laughs> he is a golden god. Okay. You're welcome, world. Thank what? you, Van. That was a lovely image. I know, right? What was the original title for Star Wars Episode Four? Did I break you, Tony? Yes. I think the original title. Was Star Wars episode Zach Galifianakis penis? <laughs> <laughs> now, this see, is best. see, <laughs> Fed, Fed, this is this is the funny thing is breaking Tony's easy. It's when you break me, I, you oh, know, you accomplish something. <laughs> kind of easy to break Tony. We we tend to do yeah, it. Yeah, we a do it every week. Semi monthly <laughs> basis. I am the original at breaking Tony. Hello. That reminds Speaking me. I need to go ahead and take my crazy pills. <laughs> Speaking of breaking Tony, his camera's froze. Uh, God damn it. All right. Hang on. Oh, I thought that was my computer. I'm so glad it's not because my computer is no, naughty. You hey, broke hey. Tony's images. Uh, I know. Uh, I'm, you know, it's happening. He's actually still me. stuck in that position now. What did you do, man? Okay. Oh, okay. You have to understand that, that once upon a time... Just because he associated with me, Tony's computer was incapable of functioning for a period of like four or five months. Yeah, when yeah, and we were and we had we had already set up an interview with the nostalgia critic and Rob, and I couldn't do it because my goddamn computer decided, you know what, Tony? Fuck you! I'm not gonna work. Okay, I'm Definitely done. Definitely, I pulled that off rather well. I I'm done. Yeah, to be to be fair, Ben did a wonderful, wonderful job, and you know, I'm not. Well, it's there. only because I I dragged several other people into the interview and made it hilariously awkward for absolutely everybody. Poor Kyle. <laughs> well, Kyle, see, Ben, Ed, 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 that's why you fitted so well with the Center Radio crew because awkward. Oh, Embarrassingly awkward is basically what we do every week. <laughs> I am so flattered. Yeah. Thank you, Elsie. It's You're nice welcome. to have my default mode validated this way. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember Kyle's first words in that interview. Why am I here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was great because I had never. I don't think at that point I had even met him in person yet. Oh. Like that's how long we'd known each other. We hadn't. Yeah, and I remember Doug's last words to Kyle. Uh, Shut up and go fuck your pig. (laughs) (laughs) At some point, that interview kind of digressed into the Walker Brothers interviewing (laughs) Kyle, which was hilarious. And then somehow went on the topic of bestiality. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. If I could interview, let's, let's round this one up. Let's get the last couple facts in. Okay, what was the original title of episode four? I do know what the original tech school was. What? Where, uh, okay. A long time are... ago. Was it no, 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 a no, long no, time no. ago in a not so distant future? Yes. And someone pointed out that makes absolutely no fucking sense. And George went, oh yeah. It's like, like you're, you're fired. That, that makes a lot of sense. Change that. <laughs> I actually know the answer to this, like, seriously, too, but I can't... Hmm. Wasn't it... No, I... Oh, shit. Go with your gut. Um, isn't it Revenge of the Sith? No, that was episode six. No, that was episode changed... six. Oh, bugger me. No, I do know the answer to this, and I'm, I'm just... I know too little about Star Wars to connect okay. it in my brain. A lot of people will say it's Blue Harvest. That is not true. What? What is it? Blue Harvest was the was what they what they shipped it under. So, uh, back back when they still used the reel to reel cameras for for uh, theaters, they would they would um, they would label it as Blue Harvest to prevent it from being stolen. What the fuck? Yeah. 
that is we're... that is awesome and logical and now I want to know what every other movie I've ever loved was shipped under. Uh, I, my dear, IMDb is your friend. It has all that. It, ha- it has all that. No, it doesn't. IMDb has whatever people threw on there, kind of like monkeys flinging shit. Which reminds me that that's what I want. To <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Uh huh. What did they call that? Was it Grumpy Old Men? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, but when production began. The movie was titled Adventures of Luke Starkiller as taken from the Journal of of the of the of the Wills Saga number 1 The Star Wars. How the fuck did this shit get made? That is worse than any 70s schlock I've ever heard. It was yeah. it was eventually shortened and Luke's name was changed to Luke Skywalker. <sighs> so guys like the shitty ass piece of crap garbage that ElfQuest devolved into is better than that. Okay, why? What? Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. Go ahead. I said it's just it, ElfQuest went from being awesome to being oh god, what the shit am I looking at? Yeah. Okay. I so. I, it's still better than that schlock. Okay, who can tell me why the e- Ewoks were in episode six? Because God hates us. I love the Ewoks. They were adorable. You no, no. No, I just think it was terrible that they managed to bring down some highly trained soldiers who must have had to have had some combat training in a forested environment. She brings up a good point. Yeah. yeah. But do you know why... Uh, but, do you, but do you know why the e- Ewoks even came into existence in the because first Because George Lucas is Satan? No, it had nothing to do with Lucas, actually. This one we cannot blame on Lucas. Oh, good. Well, that means it's God, and God hates us. If by God, <laughs> if by, if by, if by God you mean, if by God you mean the, 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 exe- the executives and the head honchos of the studio, then yes. Well, yeah, um, um, that's the same They wanted same cuddly actually. characters, didn't they? They wanted... They David, wanted... we need to sell more toys! We need a cuddly teddy bear in this! LC, that is exactly why. I believe that. Holy they, shit, they I'm actually right for once. <laughs> they, they, wanted, they wanted more kid-friendly action figures to sell... And something, to and, and Tony... And yeah. Tony, something they could spin off on a t- on a Saturday morning cartoon show. Exactly. Oh God! Oh, like they God. they wanted it's the e- a e- e- Ewoks. They <laughs> wanted a um they they wanted a a a toy specifically to market it to children. Hence the Ewoks. <laughs> also, little tidbit: Vader is Dutch for father. Huh. I knew Did not that. know that. <laughs> oh, shit. I knew that because I know Kyle. <laughs> yes. So, so Vader is... Believe it or not, Kyle is a massive Star Wars geek. See, I wish, I wish, I wish you could have got Kyle on here, too. That, that, that would have been... That would have been more interesting. Oh, I know. My producer is so much more interesting and talented and awesome. No, and no, 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 you no, as well, both. because you <laughs> men tend to play off each other, and he's, it's hilarious. He's in New you guys, York right now. Well, Ben, oh. you guys play off each other very well. Unfortunately, if we actually had Kyle here, he would be probably nervous and intimidated because I'm in the call. <laughs> well, <laughs> Kyle would be nervous and intimidated because Kyle is Kyle. Yeah. Oh, I do. I do. I got a bit. I I met Kyle several times in person, and it's always so funny because like I feel like the guy hates me, and then we start joking around and fucking with each other. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, Kyle suffers from the same uh, the same disorder I have, which is the fact that the our our social um, ineptitudes tend to manifest as us coming off as being. Um, really prissy and haughty and and just like we don't like people when really we're just terrified of you. 
Mm. Okay. Both yeah. of us apparently do that. I've gotten, I think I've gotten better at it because my parents work in public relations. So, yeah. and I've had to work with them often enough that I've learned a few simple formulas of how to smile and nod the right way. Kyle hasn't had that. So he's still, we're both, you know, it's, it's the, you know, terror manifesting as aloofness. And it's actually a pain in the ass because People keep telling us we're like this, and we're like, no, but actually, we're we don't mean that at all. We're we're just terrified, and we want to like you, but we don't know how. Yeah. So well, like I said, works. like I said, I bet Kyle. If you, I bet you had Kyle several times. I believe at this point. Yeah. In real life, and it's always funny when I meet Kyle because I just can't help but bust busting his balls. But also, I talk to him like I think I do something that a lot of people don't do, and that's talk to him like a guy. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like, you know, here's a, here's a brew, you know, fucking got, you know, and actually sit there and have like a guy conversation with them, like a guy conversation yeah. with them. And I think, I think that always makes him a little awkward and then he kind of relaxes like, all right, you know, he's, yeah, yeah. yeah he's just a guy. He's like, he just wants to have a brew with a beer with me and fucking bullshit and talk shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That reminds me of when I came up to DC then to see Mel, like it was like you, Mel and Kyle like we were all get, getting ready to watch Game of Thrones. I think it was the second episode of the third season, and mm-hmm. everybody trying to compile two seasons of <laughs> Game of Thrones into my into my in, into my mind hole, uh-huh. and it was just like this is a lot to take in. It's just like it's like. It's like, oh, and then there was a guy. Oh, yeah, and then there was this guy. And then, oh, yeah, and there was this guy. Like, oh, and, and the little... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All you need to know is Peter Dinklage is awesome. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think, Nicola, I believe that was actually verbatim quoted by someone in that room, if not more than one of us. Yeah. He is, though. I love him as an actor. It is so true. Yeah. All right, for, uh, yeah. For, all all right got all everyone, everyone... All everyone I said in about the Game of Thrones every, was, everybody in the call, like, everyone, everyone in the call, okay, right, for the right. sake of fucking my editing, okay, let's okay, finish this got, segment up one. and then we can shoot the shit. <laughs> okay, I got okay, I got one more and and uh, probably uh, end it here. Okay, who remembers the uh, in episode four the trash compactor scene? I do. Yeah. I actually do, and I'm not sure why, but I do. Okay. During the trash compactor scene, Mark Hamill held his breath so long that he broke a blood vessel in his face. <laughs> in the face! That's, in the face! <laughs> that's, why, that's why many of the shots show only one side of his face. Oh my god, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> Oh, broken down blood vessel. <laughs> huh? Okay. So, uh, uh, Lucas, I hate to, I, Lu- Mr. Lucas, I hate to be like this kind of actor, but um, uh, as you can see, I broke a blood vessel in the left side of my face. Um, uh, can you please shoot me on the right? I believe that is my better side now. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is the Star Wars. Fun facts, uh, next week, we will be doing LC's favorite subject, orgasms! So, yeah. so, there we go. I have one last little tidbit that I thought was really, really funny. Of course. This, this is actually one I found out when I was researching that thing for you earlier on. Oh, right, yeah, we gotta talk, we gotta talk about that one too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I came across this. Some of the props in Star Wars and in movies in general are just bullshit painted different colours. And one of the things that made me really giggle is Ewan McGregor's communicator is actually a female razor. Yeah. <laughs> it's what? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a that's female true. razor. It's a Gillette Sensor Excel for women yeah. that's just been painted black. Oh <laughs> He's my just talking god. To <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Me and Nicola were going over something. Okay, and this is the absolute last one that I'll say. Um, I talked to I talked to uh, Diamanda 
about this because I had no idea. I talked to Susie about this because I had no idea. And I talked to Nicola because Nicola knows everything. Can I just tell them the question you asked me out of the blue? Yeah. Yes. I got a, a little message from Tony earlier on going, are midgets more heat resistant than dwarves? Uh, uh, there is a what? reason. I, there is a reason I ask. There is okay, a reason. No, wait, wait, stop! Everyone, stop! I want to save for this moment. Please, please repeat the question. Are midgets more heat resistant than dwarfs? <laughs> to which my response was. Real, real little people. <laughs> what? No, no, no. My response, my re- Tony, my response as the southern redneck that you are, here's your sign. <laughs> my actual response. Uh, okay, okay. The reason. Uh, yeah. Are we talking real people? Yeah, yeah. It was like, 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 are we talking R- R- RPG fantasy or real little people? Can I quote that on Twitter? Go ahead. Feel free. Oh, and give a link. <laughs> um, so. And I was like, I was like, real little people. She was like, she was like, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay. The reason I ask was because I found a piece of trivia that I want to call bullshit on, and later found out it was from a satire page posing as a Star Wars trivia fact page. Um, and it said the following. Let me just find it now. Okay. Okay, this is the fact that was supposedly true, but turned out to be bullshit. R2-D2 was originally to be played by a dwarf. But after three dwarfs overheated in the costume during rehearsals, one fatally, they agreed to, to cast they they agreed to cast a, a midget. As you might know, the main difference between dwarfs and midgets is that midgets are more heat resistant. <laughs> oh, thank, I actually found it the actual thank you, reason Tony. they hired Kenny. I could not make this shit up. By the way, thank you, Tony. I think you just officially hit the racist, the most racist statement of the night. <laughs> I know you're quoting, oh, but I didn't write it. What, I, what the I bet racist, we can get is, is dwarfism a race now? Uh, I believe you. You're not allowed to say midget. You have to say dwarf. little people. You, you can't say midget. You have to say oh. dwarf or little people. I believe. I, I, well, I believe it it's is a, a racial scientifically statement. accurate descriptive term for this. No, there, type there are, body. There, it's the same with dwarf. It's there is an actual difference between midgets and dwarfs. I I know for a fact that there that there are significant differences between dwarfs and little people. Dwarves, I, I believe, are just they're they're proportionate, but they're just smaller. And little people. That's the other way, Ryan Pet. I oh. got that mixed up. Oh, okay, but yeah, there are. And, like, and also, okay, in with with dwarves. Um, the the women have beards as well as the men, and with little people, they have furry feet, and they smoke pipes a lot, and they live in a, in in holes in the ground. Not not dirty, wet, stinking holes, but a dry, comfortable hole. So vet, so vet, wait, 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 vet, vet. If did I hear that correctly? Probably did. Yes. And it means then, so 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 Ve- so Ve- dwarfs are my ex-wife. <laughs> you know what, um, Elsie? I'm not going to judge you. I'm not on this program to judge you, honey. But but yes, and I I'm not going to ask how or why that came to be. But man, you made some interesting decisions in your youth, and. You probably smoked a little too much of the, the, the stuff that Mike... Oh, Bennett believe me, it was a lot harder than uh, smoking a hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> but if, so, before we, before we yeah. end it, before we, before we end this one, I got a little bit of trivia for myself, a little bit of trivia about Star Wars. 
And just to appeal to all these Star Trek fans that are watching this, tell me this, riddle me this, what two Star Trek films has Star Wars references in it? God damn it, I should know this. There's one on Insurrection. Yeah. I have, I oh. have no idea. Oh, oh, There's I know. One, what, which one's the one where they go back in time and, and Spock mind rapes the whale? <laughs> uh, the <laughs> journey home. The one I can whale. tell you right now, you're you're at a long. At a, you might be right, but according to what I'm reading, you you're wrong. It's also called oh, okay. Undiscovered Country, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the one with All the right. whales. First, first what, off, oh, that's the answer. Nuclear you, 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 you might be right. You might be right. You, you, there's a good chance you're right. I don't have those facts up, but... In S- Star Trek First Contact, you can actually see the, the Millennium Falcon in the background of one of the, of one of the scenes. Huh. Okay. Hmm, okay. I, I don't know what scene this is. I got it on my other monitor, so I can't even bring it on screen. But you can see the yeah. Millennium Falcon in the background of one of the uh, spaceships. And and also, during in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek reboot, you could act, there's actually a scene where you could actually see R2-D2 on the fucking, as part of the fucking Enterprise. Oh my god, I knew that. Okay, LC, I know where, I know what scene... In first contact, where you can see the Millennium Falcon, it's when they're fighting the Borg cube. Yeah. Yes, it's right behind the the Borg the Borg uh, spaceship, and oh also in, in is. and in Star in Star Trek in and in Star Trek uh, the J.J. Abram remake, there is a scene where they show the fucking Millennium Falcon, and you can actually see R two D two as like basically a hood ornament. Yes. Oh. There's, also, part, there's yes. also a bit in the debris field in the very start of the film where an R2-D2 unit flies past with a bunch of other debris. Oh my god, Nicola, uh, you are so cute. It's a film. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, it's, yeah, okay. Go on. <laughs> Wait, what? Did so I say something? Uh, you're so we, pro- oh, we, no, we pronounce it film, you pronounce it film. Film, film, film. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if you really want to, then I can do this accent again because I knew you find that fucking hilarious. So tell me, how far is your lucky jobs? <laughs> Would you like to go and see the moving pictures? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's do it. We, we tend to call them pictures here as well. Yeah. So. Alright, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank Nicola. Then, and of course, Tony Hells for joining us again on Stupid... St- or, uh, sorry, on SSL here on Cine Radio. 